Welcome to the reading of the Book of Psalms. Bienvenidos a la lectura de los Salmos. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Boy, we are here and we are we are ready for the word. Yes, we are. We're Today's ready. a good one. Yes, it's a good one. It's all about praise. Yes. It's all about praise. We're in Psalm 96. And uh, I, as usual, I'm going to read it and then I will give some points. Amen. Amen. So here we go. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. We, we got new songs every day. Amen. Mm. Different things happening in our lives. We, we got to have a new song every day. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the people are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give to the Lord, give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world also is firmly established. It shall not be moved. He shall judge the peoples righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in all its fullness. Let the field be joyful in all that is in it. Then all the trees of the woods will rejoice before the Lord, for he is coming. For he mm. is coming. Yes, hallelujah. He is coming. Jesus is coming back. Yes, he is. It's not a fairy tale. Yes. It's not a maybe. It is a for sure. Yes, a if promise. he said it, he'll do it. Yes. If he spoke it, he'll bring it to pass. Amen. For he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He's coming for to judge the earth and to bring his people back home. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. He Amen. shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. All this is true. None of this is a lie. Mm -hmm. God made the earth. He is to be feared above all gods. And it says here, for all the gods of the peoples are idols. Right after that, he said, but the Lord made the heavens. Those idols didn't make the heavens. Mm -hmm. They didn't make anything That's except right. havoc and trouble. Yes. Amen. Confusion. And, and confusion and, and lies. Mm -hmm. But the Lord made the heavens. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It says in verse, uh, the latter part of verse 8, bring an offering and come into his courts. The word says, come into his courts with thanksgiving and in through his gates with praise. We came in through his gates with praise. Mm -hmm by even just reading this psalm. Amen. We speak his word back to him. Amen. He loves to hear. He spoke his word and we speak it back to him. Can you imagine if we would start the day uh -huh. praising God yes. with a grateful heart, yes. thanking him instead mm. of complaining, mm. instead of laying oh. in bed, oh, I got to get up and go to bed. <laughs> I don't want to go, go to bed. bed. I mean, go to work. <laughs> I got to get up. I want to stay in bed. <laughs> I want to go to, oh, you know, Lord. instead of getting up mm -hmm. with that mm -hmm. attitude, mm -hmm. if we would just get up with that attitude of thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for another day. I bless your holy yes. name. Sing a new song. Put praise while you're brushing your teeth, washing your face. <laughs> And it's like, I think our whole, we, we set up the day, the rest of the day. Yes. If we start up like that. Yes. What an attitude change. I know. And it's up to us. Mm. It's not up to the circumstances. No, not at all. You know, uh, it, it says here, bring an offering. You know, Jesus was poured out as an mm. offering. He poured out his blood. He poured out his, his whole life for us. Mm -hmm. And as he 
pours himself out as an offering, then we need to come with thanksgiving and bring an offering. Yeah. Amen? Uh, in Luke 6.38, it talks about an offering. It talks about uh, the attitude of, of our giving. It's not giving to get. It's giving because we got already. Mm -hmm. Giving because we already received. Amen. 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 Uh, in Luke 6.38, it says give. It doesn't say what. Just give. Mm -hmm. Or the amount. Uh, it doesn't even say the amount. Mm -hmm. It says give and it shall be given to you. Good measure. Good measure. Press down. Shaken together and running over will be put into your bosom. How many of you have bought a bag of chips? <laughs> and when you pick it up, it's like halfway full. Oh my God, yes. And, and so this is, you, when you give to God, you're giving, he's giving back to you the full measure. Full measure. He'll shake it up, make room for more, and pour more in. Mm -hmm. And it'll be running over. Amen. He said, for with the same measure that you use, it will be measure, measured back to you. Yes. So how is your heart measuring the offering that you're giving? Mm -hmm. Do you give it with a stingy heart? Oh, I got $20 here, but I got five. So let me hide the 20 and I'm going to give the five. <laughs> it, but it's still not even about an amount. It's about your heart. Mm -hmm. How how much are you grateful for what he's done for you Amen. and for what he's given to you, your family, your children? I don't care how much trouble, you know, they cause you, <laughs> but he's given you your family. He chose your family for you. Yes. And and he's blessed you. He, you're still walking the earth. Yes. He's not done with you yet, right? Amen. So we ought to give with an attitude of praise, mm -hmm. an attitude of thanksgiving. Amen? Amen. No matter what the amount. And please don't let anyone force you to give any more than what you have set in your mind That's right. to give. Because God, uh, he loves a cheerful giver. Mm -hmm. Amen. A cheerful giver. You're happy to give the 20. You're happy to give the five. You're happy to give the hundred, the thousand, the however, what amount you're happy to give it because you know, he loves a cheerful giver. That's right. Amen. Now, what I was just saying about not allowing anyone to force you don't get in the thousand dollar line, you know, and some, some places they tell you the thousand dollar line, the hundred dollar line. No, you get in the line of God and you hear from God and you give what he tells you Amen to give. Amen to that. Deuteronomy 16, verse 16b and 17, it says, Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord your God, which he has given you. You may not be able to give much. But that's okay because God receives it, right? Amen. Amen. Now you remember the widow and, and the mites that she gave. And this proves that it does not matter the amount. God looks inside the heart. Mark twelve forty two says, Then one poor widow came and threw in two mites, which make a quadrants. I guess that's a measure of uh, money back in those days. Jesus said that she gave more than the others. They that gave out of their abundance, but she gave all she had. Now what she gave in today's money was one eighth of a cent. And he saw it as she gave more than any other rich people. And their attitude in giving, the rich people, they would throw the money in so that everybody would know, you know, that that was a lot of money, but she, she, she gave it out of her heart mm -hmm. and so to this day the word of god talks about that lady yes amen i That's want my right. offerings for people to talk about you remember when she gave this when mm -hmm. she gave that but it was my attitude in giving mm -hmm. amen amen in romans 12 and 1 it says this is another kind of offering uh, because there's many different kinds of offerings but this one it says, Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present 
or offer your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. That's another kind of offering. Amen. Amen. That we give our lives back to, to the Lord. That we give our bodies, we present our bodies. Uh, the Word of God says that the true religion is that we uh, take care of the widows and live a holy life mm -hmm. set apart for the Master's use. Amen. So we need to be mindful uh, of our, of our, in our giving. Remember, it's not about the amount. It's about the amount of wanting to give that's in your heart. Amen. The wanting to bless the house of God, wanting to bless the man of God, wanting to bless your neighbor. You know, your neighbor you see has a need and, and you, your heart is to, to bless your neighbor. Sometimes that neighbor won't understand, well, why are you doing this for me? And it's like, how do you explain that, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> how do you explain that? And it's, it's just a sacrifice of praise to God, of thanking God for what he's done and us to, to be used for other people. Um, mm, did I give the testimony? <laughs> I'm no, so excited yet. about the word. I have a testimony. I want to uh, encourage any of you who are going through a healing no matter how serious it is, but I want to infuse hope and trust and faith and everything else to you through this testimony. Uh, I know a uh, young pastor in Nigeria. Uh, he and I communicate a lot. He's such a blessing. And uh, he shared with me yesterday this testimony of God's healing power. And uh, he said that uh, a lady approached him actually called him because she lives kind of far from where he's at in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And she was sharing about her brother who was seriously ill. He had perforations in the intestinal area. He could not eat anything without vomiting, could not keep anything in his system. And he was in the hospital and they were going to operate. And he prayed, he prayed uh, tears. I mean, he just prayed a uh, uh, he just prayed like it when he was praying for him or if he was praying for a close member, a loved mm -hmm. member of his family, the compassion that came through. And let me tell you, God heard. They took him into the operating room. They opened him up and they found no perforations, none, Hallelujah. Praise none God. at all. And just the operation itself was something real bad. You know, it, he could have died on the table just by the riskiness of the uh, operation itself. But, uh, I mean, you know, God God heard that prayer. Amen. He heard his heart. And um, let me tell you, sometimes we're going through our own uh, struggles in our bodies. But when you come out of yourself and you pray, you pray uh, unselfishly yes. for others, uh, God hears that prayer Amen. because his heart is the same. Yes. His heart is the same. He, he, uh, he is our healer, and uh, he wants us to run our race. Yes, he wants he us to run our race, to, you know, to live that long life that he promised us in Psalm 91. But I, I pray also that you would receive wisdom for your bodies, for the health of your bodies, that you would, uh, you know, what's good for one person may not be good for you. So receive wisdom from God, amen, for your own bodies, so that you can align your bodies uh, in such a way that it will receive the nourishment and not throw it off. So you be blessed today. You got anything, Vivian? Ah, uh, well, no. Just uh, <clears throat> again, Psalm ninety-six is a psalm that teaches us how to mm -hmm. praise our God. Mm -hmm. To it shows us how to have a heart of gratefulness. Mm -hmm. um, how to come to Him. It could be through singing, praising mm -hmm. Him. Uh, mm -hmm. But it, it is something that we all must do mm -hmm. because I think this is what stops sometimes the blessing of the Lord to come right. into our lives because we don't have developed that 
attitude of being grateful. Mm -hmm. We have more of an attitude of complaining mm -hmm. and only coming to God when we need something. Right. And this song teaches how to praise God. Mm -hmm. How to praise Him. How should we come into His presence? What should be our attitude no matter what we're going through yes. at the moment? I think even when we're going through the valley mm -hmm. of the shadow of okay. death, our attitude should be more like the yes. psalmist teaches us here, with a grateful heart, praising the name of our Lord, praising God mm -hmm. for His wonderful works. All we need to do is go outside yes. and look up to heaven, look at the stars, look at the sun, Look at all, all the planets and realize mm -hmm. you made that. What is it? In, Amen. Nothing is impossible for mm -hmm. our God. Whatever we're going through, whatever we're going through, the difference of us receiving the answer to our prayer, of us receiving that blessing could be, okay, could be mm -hmm. that we have an ungrateful heart yes. in some areas. Yes. And we have to be very careful that we always come to him with a thanksgiving attitude, praising his name, and not not praising God for all the bad things, no. but go, while we are going through, mm -hmm. thanking him that we're going to come out of this. You know, yes, our faith has to be put on him and the mm -hmm. promises. Amen. Thank God for not, like you said, what we're going through or what we've experienced, but in all things give in thanks all things you give him thanks mm -hmm. why because he's good amen why because he loves you yes why because like the psalmist says he's your salvation mm -hmm. and he's coming back amen to judge the world amen amen verse 13 so we want to be on the right side <laughs> of this worldy <laughs> of the people we don't want to be on the wrong side we want to yeah. be on the side that we're going home with yes. him amen we want to be on the right side amen. of righteousness amen and that only happens through jesus amen not through your good works mm -mm. not through your whatever thing you know you think you're so good no it only happens through jesus amen when you put your faith when you confess him as your only only Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. When you denounce every other yeah. beliefs, yes, idols, idols, mm -hmm. worshiping other gods, and you put your faith only in Jesus and believe in your heart mm -hmm. that He is who He said He was, Amen. and that God raised Him from the dead. My friend, salvation Amen. has come to your house. Amen. Okay. All who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. That's what the scripture says. So if you have not done so already, I invite you. Open mm -hmm. up your heart to him wherever you're at. Cry out to him like many of us did. Yes. Many of us did. We were trying to find where is mm -hmm. God, where is the truth, and trying different things. Until one day you got to fall on your knees and say, if you really exist, show me who you are. Mm -hmm. Show me the truth. Guide me. You open up your heart to receive, and guess what? He'll come. Mm -hmm. He'll come. He's waiting. He's waiting on us. <laughs> knocking at the door of your heart right now. So that's it for today. <sighs> that's good. So we will see you tomorrow with Psalm 97. That's right. Amen. Amen. And thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. We're growing daily <laughs> thanks to you. Mm -hmm. And if you have not done so already, we ask you to please help us and subscribe to our channel because that really, really, really help mm -hmm. us to spread this word yes. to, ma to many people, many nations, many countries that need to hear this yes. message. Amen. Amen. Amen, friends. We will see you tomorrow around this time. Be blessed. Shalom. Bye-bye.